Good afternoon, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today, we are at property address 3121 Juniper Drive here in Newburgh. We are located down inside the crawl space. And if this isn't a beautiful crawl space, I do not know what is. This is immaculate. Got a three inch ABS clean out here. It's, it's very easy to find. It sticks right out of the uh, this vapor barrier. We're going to check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Water is running. I'm going to clean some cobwebs off the camera lens here really quick. And then, uh, we'll drop down and zero up. Yeah, I've, I've been doing this 13 years. I've cameraed up something like 25,000 sewer lines. I've been in more crawl spaces than I care to talk about at this point and this is this this right here is i mean i can i can count on my my one hand maybe my two hands how many i've been in this nice this thing is amazing the added things that i see in here how just about every piece of plumbing pipe in here is not just strap but it's supported by two by fours it's you don't see that very often anyway off we go here right out of the gate very nice clean flow line. Hopefully that persists all the way out. You got a little bit of, we have some standing water here. And I did poke around for that clean out. I didn't have as much luck when I saw the clean out down here, especially being how hot it is today. This was a nicer option, but there is a clean out out front there. And it looks like it's a, it, I think it, the reason it's tricky to find, as I reel back in here, I'll be able to eyeball this better. Um, it's possible that may actually be a test tee because we're transitioning here right over, over to 3034 PVC pipe right now. And that is a very common normal thing to have before a transition uh, to PVC. You'll often have a test tee that comes in. It's, it's basically identical to a clean out access. They use it when the line is first being installed and passed off and permitted. That's how they do their pressure test. They pressurize the line through that thing and make sure it's all sealed up. Once all that's up to snuff, they cap the thing off, and that's about it. So it's close enough to the home; it could be a clean out. It's it's also where it's situated before the transition could be a test tee. So we'll see as we come back in closer. There could be another tie-in. Either way, you've got you've got good access down here. And there's a couple spots in line with some standing water. Um, we'll take a look at those on the way out. But I, I've got a bathtub running right now. Um, I mean, the only debris buildup in this line to speak of um, is a little bit of grease buildup uh, at the bellies themselves. Absolutely, basically nowhere else in the sewer line. So and with the amount of water I'm putting down line right now, uh, the bellies are going to be exaggerated to an extent. So we'll see how those look when everything's drained off. <laughs> and there's the main there at about 60 feet. We're going to go locate that real quick here while the pipe drains. <clears throat> Alrighty, located the camera head successfully. Line terminates out on uh, Juniper Drive. And where I picked that locate up out in the street, lines up almost perfectly with where the clean out's at inside here. Line does a uh, pretty darn straight shot right out to the road. And as you face the house from the street, that's how I describe everything, um, the line is running Let's see here. Oh, it goes out through the front yard area, um, adjacent to the driveway, just to the left of it. A few feet or so. Anyway, you want to keep your line looking this clean. This is a fabulous example of how to treat your sewer line right here. The number one thing that gunks your pipes up are grease, greases, fats, and oils going down your kitchen sink drain. And at this point in my career, I'm honestly more concerned about grease buildup, thick grease buildup throughout your line, than I am a lot of structural issues like bellies, offset joints, things like that. What I've found, and this is especially so in plastic pipe, standing water in plastic pipe is a completely different animal than a belly in old cast iron or concrete that has really rough pipe walls. That's a combination I don't like. Um, you know, plastic pipe, a lot of times bellies, 
even even fairly significant ones don't act up until the homeowner helps it along a great deal and often what i find in those situations is very thick grease buildup combined with a belly bellies will often concentrate grease because the grease hits that water cools down hardens up flows to the top of the water and starts to collect on the sidewalls which over time constricts the line diameter down <clears throat> And then often it, it, what usually is killing it is, you know, someone flushes 14 balls of toilet paper down the line and or wipes paper towels, something like that. And that's kind of what does it in. So from this point right here forward, and I've got a bathtub, I plugged it up. It, it's draining kind of slow. I think we might have a little, yeah, that water there is still rippling. I was gonna say from this point here at about 21 feet forward, there is just the ever so slightest amount of water in the flow line. But if you look closely, the water is still flowing past my camera. Uh, so anyway, if there is any amount of standing water beyond this point, it is so minor, you cannot even see it unless you move the camera around to ripple the water. Uh, but realistically, with that bathtub still trickling off right now, I mean, what we're talking about here is, uh, I mean, 64th, you'd be about talking to microns. So it, that's not the kind of stuff we're looking for here nor is that, that ever going to affect functionality. I'll hold up just a second here. Yeah, if you watch, there's still little bits of particulate floating past the camera right now. So anyway, that's, I mean, I, that kind of standing water, even if there is any, the line is still not 100% drained off. I mean, I don't even like to legitimize stuff like that by calling it a belly. It's, it's so dang minor that I, the, the only thing you'd ever get consistently hanging up in that, in, in water that minor is if you were putting a great deal of cooking oil and grease down your line, which should not go down your line. <clears throat> anyway, as we come back into the ABS here, this is a spot I can actually at least call a belly. <clears throat> Dissipates off here about 16 feet. Yeah, that thing's rinky dink too. It's teeny. And what you have there on the sidewalls looks like a little bit of grease. Anyway, I mean, that, that's all the buildup I can even talk about in here. There's a little tiny scrap of toilet paper just into the transition. So we're about 14 to 16 feet. Let this water settle in here for just a second. At that belly's worst point, that water line is hitting about halfway up my camera lens there. You've got about a half inch of standing water at its worst point. That is not a belly I would recommend repairs on. And for reference, I, I don't even consider repairs um, on plastic sewer lines with bellies until you have at least a five-foot section of pipe. In fact, I'm getting to the point right now, that's that's something I, I devised about 10, 11 years ago, um, the five-foot belly rule with an inch of water. I'm actually reaching a point right now where I'm going to probably expand that out. Even a, that, at the five-foot mark with an inch of water in it, that's static with no water running at all, that's where I start to consider repairs. Most of them I don't recommend repairs on. I mean, you get a line like this, sure, there's a little tiny bit of buildup on the sidewalls. Um, that looks like some grease. And, and that the amount of buildup that's in here does not justify even spending three, 400 bucks jetting the line. There's so little of it. The important thing is the top of the pipe, the sidewalls of the pipe, all the, all the pipe that is behind the belly is what tells you the story. And these are not bellies that I mean, I even want you concerned about in general over there so small. Um, but when you get blockages in the past or backups, things like that, what tells you the story is the top of the sewer line, everything prior to that belly. If, if a line is backed up even semi-frequently here and there, you're gonna have debris deposits all over the place. But especially at the top of the line where the water line never actually touches that area to clean it off. Yeah, it's kind of funny where 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 the buildup is at. There's, I mean, the line is so immaculately clean. I wouldn't have expected to see any anything even in those bellies. 
but it honestly only takes about one time of dumping a big pan full of grease down the line and you can accomplish that so anyway a couple little minor areas of standing water in this line uh, none of them are anywhere near a point where i'd recommend a repair on them you know any any areas that have standing water in them i mean you know theoretically yes they're a little bit more likely to cause a block at the point these ones are um, these are all you know half inch quarter inch sixteenth of an inch standing water it's very minor stuff so it, it requires abuse on the homeowner side and quite a lot of it when you've got stuff like this you got to be manhandling the line pretty good to to get enough build up to develop a blockage in, in spots like that and or flushing massive massive amounts of toilet paper down the line at once which will clog a perfectly good sewer line with zero standing water in it so we have good flow all the way out to the main lateral connection. Uh, very clean line. Even with the, the bits of buildup you have in there, relative to most sewer lines, this thing is absolutely spotless clean. <clears throat> all the pipe we just scoped there, all of it is intact, albeit a few areas have settled a little bit. All the pipe's intact there, nothing's broken. Plastic pipe can settle to an incredible extent without breaking. No, sewer line is functioning properly at this time. Nice looking sewer line there. <clears throat> 